Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Anything Goes. My name is Andrew Dika and today I'm proud to be at the iconic and the famous show called the Home of British Boxing. Now, concluding our main event for the Commonwealth Super Flyweight title, Casey Kademi versus Ryan Farag. Ryan Farag comes out on top by unanimous decision. Ryan, just heard you say to your coach a minute ago, it's way better, winning's way better than losing. Um, how are you feeling, champ? You know, I feel good. A um, little bit of a short arm, but you know. It's not. Um, it's not. It's the, the, the victory tastes sweet. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. In good spirits. And was the original bout meant to be back in January, back in Liverpool? No, no it was. Uh, it was. It was supposed to be uh, last month, I think. Oh, March. March, yeah. And then it got postponed. Um, Casey had a bad neck, so yeah, they postponed the fight. Does it feel even better coming to away territory, to away ground? And obviously it's boxing, it's not football, but does it feel even better coming down south, coming down to London and being crowned? It would have been even better to be crowned in Liverpool, but it was it the main goal just to be crowned regardless where it was? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it doesn't matter where it is, does it? Obviously, it's a little bit sweeter when you go away because, you know, you've got to win to, mm -hmm. to win, you know what I mean? They've got the home crowd and, you know, if it's a little bit close, it can it can go the other way, but I'm happy with how how the the fight went, and and I'm happy with the decision. By the way, talking about home and away, are you a football fan? No, I'm not. You know, yeah. I used to play when I was younger, and then as soon as I got into boxing, I just forgot about football. It's a uh, fellas falling over crying. <laughs> just love to hear it. Uh, but if you had to pick, are you the red side of Liverpool or blue side? Yeah, no, I, Liverpool. Like me, me dad. He's a big red fan, so I grew up. I grew up watching Liverpool sport and Liverpool, and um, but I just I, like I moved away for a few years and I just stopped watching football altogether. So, but um, but you know I still I still like to have a little kick about and that, and then like, I'm sure my son he's gonna watch footy, so I'll, I'll get back into it with him probably. I love to hear it. And by the way, is it coming home in the summer? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to say yes, but you know, it's what are the odds? I want to say yes as well, and I will say yes, I'll stick by it. So, going off of football now, back onto the boxing. So, like I said there, does it affect you more mentally or physically when not only it's being taken away from Liverpool, and you said when you come away, you have the crowd against you, and you're not the favourite, but in the moment, it's a clear odd 50-50, but if you were the hometown hero, as they say, it's a little bit different. Does it feel, I want to say unfair, but does it feel unjust when you don't have your Scouts fans, your Scouts faithful? Oh, it depends how you look at it. I mean, when I've boxed at home before, sometimes I felt too comfortable having the home home crowd. And then when I go away, I feel like I don't know. I, you know, I get I get a little bit more nervous, and I think them nerves do me good. Um, so it just depends how you look at it. Obviously, it's nice to have your own crowd there when you when you're fighting. But then I don't know. So it's, it's a tough one because I always feel like when when I'm in away territory. I have that little bit more edge about me and, and, and I perform better. And you know, mentioning that there, is it is it bittersweet because mentally and physically, regardless now, because you have the strap here, but would you have liked the fight to have gone on last month or do you feel like regardless now that um, it's all said and done, everything happens for a reason, regardless how low it got or how hard it might have been to stay in there mentally and physically, you've got the belt now? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it was in my in my mind. I in my mind, I knew I, I, I had the beating of Casey. I, you know, not to take anyone away from Casey because he's a good fighter, but I just thought when it came to skills, I thought I had the edge on him, and I knew that on my day I would beat Casey on his day. So it didn't matter where it was, when it was, um, the delay. Uh, you didn't know, you. you know, it didn't bother me, and. Um, it just gave me more time to, to work on things in the gym and them things that we worked on, worked on the night. So it is what it is. I love to hear it. And talk about it there. How's it feel becoming and the new Commonwealth champion? Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, obviously, I lost a box for this title last year against Marcel Braithwaite. I lost by a point. I think I won that fight. It was a close fight, but again, I just thought I had the better skills. But look, it was a close fight, and again, taking nothing away from Marcel, he, you know, he's a, he's a decent fighter. But you know, I I I didn't I didn't box t uh, to me to me best on that night. So I think I took that away from that, and I and I brought it to this fight tonight. You know, I felt like I, I used I used my skills and I used my boxing brain tonight. So everything happens for a reason, and 
you know, because of the way I lost that fight, I won this fight tonight. So, yeah, no, I'm just happy with I'm just happy with, with holding the title now. Love to hear and everything does happen for a reason. One of my favourite sayings and it will all make sense in the end. And as the show is called Redemption, you got redemption. Yeah. I like to say everything happens because of a reason. <laughs> you know, yeah. happens, if you say everything happens for a reason, but I think it happens because of a reason and you make it happen because of them reasons. And you know, I you know, I got myself into this position and uh, you know, I made the best of it tonight against Casey. And you said you'd had the better of Casey. Break down the contest from round one to round two. Do you feel like you had the earlier rounds, the, the middle of the fight, the end of the fight? How do you score it? I, I, you know what? I felt quite comfortable all the way through. I mean, there was there was a few moments where um, I just got caught when when Casey was was walking around the ring. There was a couple of times I might have just switched off and just started following, but then you know. Went back to the corner, got the got the advice from my coach, and then I just started to faint then because you know I was making a miss by miles with some shots. All I had to do was faint, just faint them them little surprise attacks out of him, and he was lunging in. Um, like I say, I felt quite comfortable through the fight. Um, uh, my faints were working. I had him, I had him nervous. You know, he was, uh, he was he was gone for all my faints, and um, yeah, I felt I was able to. I was setting me my head shots up with with body shots early on, and I was able to. I was able to land them shots because I was I was landing them and then the feints were setting them shots up and yeah now it's the game plan that that me and Chris have been working on for for a few months now I feel like I executed it it would have been nice to get the stoppage but you know Casey's a tough fella and you know do you feel like you could have stopped him <sighs> two more rounds <laughs> <laughs> and you know Casey Casey was tough and I, you know I felt like I hit him with some real hard shots and. You know, there's a couple of times where I just thought, put your foot down, go for it, and then you know, I went, I went for it, and he, and he just he's staying there. So, you know, credit to, to Casey, he's, he's, he's got a decent chin, and he, he he stayed up. So yeah, he's a tough fella, Casey. But yeah, I felt like I felt like I I, um, I cruised through the fight. There's like I say, I switched off a couple of times, and and let him land a couple of silly ones, and I didn't clean up when I was throwing my right hand. But I felt comfortable. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get hit with nothing big. There's a couple of headbutts in there that you know I feel myself in now, but apart from that, I felt like I felt like I cruised the fight. And now moving on, where would you like to go from here? Because obviously you have the come off. Do you, does Brayfay have the British or who has the British in the super? He has the British, but it's just being ordered. He's he's gonna fight my gym mate, Brandon Diode. Oh. <clears throat> so I don't know whether he's gonna accept that fight or not, but that's going to Pesh bids. Um I mean I, I would like to you know, I've been European champion before, you know, and I've showed that I'm that I can I can fight at that level. I would maybe like to go for the European title or, or, or something like that. Um obviously I have to sit down with my manager and, and discuss that. But uh, for now, just enjoy this win, rest up and and yeah, she she was she was uh, the I'm future. Before that you go obviously you have the name on the record, Sonny Edwards. Is that a fight you could entertain again in the future? Yeah, I mean, I'd, 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 you know what, I was only sparring Sonny a few weeks ago and, uh, you know, we've done some good rounds together and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure if the if the right title was on the line and, and the money was right, that, I, I don't know, I mean, Sonny's obviously, he's obviously boxer world titles and stuff, but yeah, I, 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 I would entertain that fight again. And Casey's last fight was a world title, so... Obviously, not going off a mass, but you beat a person that just fought for a world title. Do you feel like you merit going into a world title fight? Would you, like you said, you want the European and then go? Yeah, no, I mean, I I would like to fight for a world title. That's every boxer's ambition, I think. Um, you know, if you don't want to fight for a world title, then you're not in the right, the right spot because that's the pinnacle of boxing, isn't it, to be a world champion? So I would I would love to fight for a world title. And if that opportunity came, I'd, I'd grab it with both hands. And just to let you go, what is your message to your coach, your trainers, your team, your SSC, everyone that's built and stayed in with you with camp from the original scheduled bout to the rescheduled and now and the new Commonwealth uh, champion. Message to the sponsors, message to the fans, message to the Scouts Army, everyone that came down to London to support and everyone that was tuning in on Box Nation. How cool did it feel fighting on Box Nation? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, and I was good to when the fight got cancelled last time. It was supposed to be the relaunch and I was excited for that because... I've obviously boxed on Box Nation shows before in the past, and you know I love I love the setup and stuff. But uh, in terms of me, me team and that, yeah, no, I'm very grateful <coughs> for um, 
all the all the support and, and all the, the work my coaches Chris and Paddy have put in to the, to to making sure I box the way I did tonight. Um, yeah, again, my sponsors, Shard Day Events, um, Shred Fast, Pots and Shots, uh, Blended Juice, Tea Gas, you know, all them, you know, I've got a great team of people around me and I'm very grateful. So thank you to everybody and thank you to everybody who messaged me. Uh, messages of support, you know, it's... Uh, oh yeah, your Instagram, your phone, on WhatsApp must be flooded. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it. It's, uh, it's nice, it's a nice feeling, it's, you know, it's hard because you can't you can't get back to everyone, but you know I'll put a little message out and say thank you because I'm very grateful for everyone who, who shows me support because you know it's, I, I, I fucking I've spent I've spent a lifetime working in this and it's nice when when people notice stuff and all the hard work, all the discipline, all the dedication and everything that goes behind the scenes that people don't get to see and it all pays off because people will see one night, they'll see yeah. one title but they won't know all the sacrifice, all the discipline, all the weight cut, all the nutritionists and I'm immensely proud of you, congratulations Ryan Farag and I can see, I believe, is that your phone right there? Yeah, yeah it's buzzing off with WhatsApp messages so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the new Commonwealth Super Flyweight Champion Ryan Farag, all the best champ and see you in the future. Soft. <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, I did do that once before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I literally, I hugged him. I gave him a big hug. He's like, careful, my neck. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Frog. Cheers. <laughs>